welcome back to fun media and today I will show you my way of doing a lightsaber welcome back Star Wars fan so this is clear this clip is already done here okay uh, and I will show you the major point on how I did that the reason I did it already is because we're gonna use frame by frame keyframe and it's a little long so for this tutorial I don't want to show you like all the points frame by frame but I will show you what you need and how to do it so first thing first three clips uh, I have of course my clips right here that I put here so the, a guy holding a saber with no lightsaber just the bottom of it and of course you will need a lightsaber to have the the light there's a couple of ways to do it for those who are good with uh, uh, design and Photoshop and all stuff like that. You can just design one. Uh, you could use, I've seen some guys doing, uh, doing a letter and like a, a big L and modify it to do kind of a modify L. So a way I like to do it is just by, you got tons of free stuff online. So you got some lightsaber that are already done like this one and or you got the blue one or the, the reason I like this one with the green screen is this light this light moving see the light is moving a little bit like right here so I, I'd like to use that one today and of course this one here is just the sound All right opening sound closing sound and stuff like that so right now this lightsaber that I'm gonna use so I put no sound because I don't want this the music that's coming with it and I'm gonna re use the red lightsaber so I'm gonna cut the blue one okay about like that I got my red lightsaber which I'm gonna put above the clip double click on it go first thing first into here studio chroma key see it has disappeared the green, the green is gone color tolerance 100% make it look a little better and now of course like you see it's not like the proper way that I want it so make sure my clip is selected gonna start with a crop because I, I want only the light not the full lightsaber so of course I'm working a little fast here so major thing when you do editing like that take your time especially after with the frame by frame more the more you take your time the more precision you're gonna have but right now for the tutorial I'm gonna go a little quicker all right so now I want to place this lightsaber on my bottom lightsaber. So properties with this here, you got all all the thing like the position, and you got all the keyframe here. So position, size, and everything. So I don't really like the size of it right now. So I just unlock it. Make it a little smaller. A little thinner, a little smaller again. So let's say you're satisfied, so you can work on it to get it exactly like you want. And then all you gotta do is put it exactly on where you wanna put it. Let's say I'm good with that, like that. Of course, right now you wanna make it appear. So what I'm gonna do here gonna use those little keyframe so I got a little cropping here so I'm gonna put all the crops make sure just like that just don't those two I'm good I don't wanna make sure I don't want any lightsaber right now see it's off 
So right here, I'd like it to be open. There you go, my lightsaber is open. And I got a new keyframe and a lightsaber is open. So let's have a look. It's still rendering. It was too fast. Well, you can see it like that. See, it's opening. Woohoo! All right. Uh, so after that, all you gotta do is go do your keyframe by keyframe by keyframe. So a better way to do it, you got this little button here because it's gonna take a lot of precision. So this little button here can undock. You're gonna have a bigger screen and another one that's thing that's important right here will be the swivel so let's say I'm good like that right now so I'm gonna advance keyframe by keyframe like that see that my saber my bottom saber has moved so all you gotta do is advance it and with the swivel I can turn it So I'll just gonna turn it the other side. So I don't know if you see it, but it's turning very, very, very slowly because I'm really used trying to use like precision. So once you're satisfied, it could be a little more. But anyway, just for tutorial, okay, let, let's say I'm satisfied like that. Then I gonna click next keyframe. So of course, just see it had in a keyframe here so for more precision of course i would suggest you to work every 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 keyframe but just to show you how this works i'll just go one two three four five six seven eight see it's moving here so my hand are not moving a lot for the moment but every time i click here see there is no keyframe right here i just click on it or move it a little bit change a swivel and there's a new keyframe so keyframe by keyframe by keyframe see my hand are moving so I'm gonna change it like that and then you work keyframe by keyframe by keyframe and this is what you're gonna have to do all the way down to the end so of course right you would have to work all the way down here so just to show you if I come back with the one that's already done See all those keyframes that are here? So right here at the end I've passed a couple, but what's the what's Pinnacle doing right right now? It's just every keyframe going where I wanted it to be. So of course right here I got more movement, so I got lots of keyframe. And just like I did at the beginning, at the end, right here, it's all gone. If you look at the end right here, more keyframe, cropping, cropping keyframe by keyframe is going out. And finally, of course, uh, just add yourself, like I got a marker here. My marker here is where my lightsaber is going down like that it's going down so right here what I wanted is I wanted my sound this sound right here so at the end of my sound I know it's the sound of the lightsaber going down so I, I, all I did is trying to put the down sound matching with near my marker same thing with the opening See, there's more sound right here. This is where the lightsaber is opening. There you go. And I, I mean, I think it's pretty much it. So it's a quick tutorial, but like I said, if I want this clip to be like this clip, really, really the long thing to do is working all the keyframe by keyframe by keyframe. And if you're patient, I mean, you'll have a great result. 
So please like the video if you like Star Wars, and uh, I'll talk to you next time with uh, Fun Media. See you guys.